What's up everyone, I'm back with some more idol heroes. As you can see here, uh, Fossi's active is a mark applier and it's really annoying because it removes all active buffs and basically if you have too many buffs we're gonna die. And as Natalia gives a lot of buffs to us, we just kinda get wrecked because of them because they are super annoying and they are quite strong. And look at that. I kept trying with several different setups here, but this one is a losing fight as you see, we mostly kinda don't even stand a chance. You see the TV's health is slowly going down, and as is a mark, it offsets the unbending wheel, kinda. And it's pretty annoying because the guys in the front, they also mark you, so it's kinda hard to keep removing all those marks. The tires, they give mark also. So what I did. I change here a little bit and put the the fan, change everyone to mark removal and so on and so on and so on and make my team a little bit more ch chunky. Not my team, mostly my husband, you know, just put the shield on him round one, make sure he survives a little bit as it if he gets the energy feed and do a little bit of damage and he keep controlling them and but our team start dying off. And I was like, damn, I'm gonna lose this again. Come on. Am I gonna get you sick here? And then I noticed one thing. People keep dying and then we do another meh, basic with our DTV and he gets energy. Once his energy is full, our husband is nearly on the brink of the death. DTV goes, come in a clutch and kills all the forces. And I was like, Whoa. Gosh, we're gonna do this. Well done and nice. Because also there is one thing. Forces they target the highest attack hero. So that's why all our and I think he steals attack, I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I know he attacks the the bear he's basic. So he was attacking our Aspen. Making it hard for us. That's why DTV did so much damage. I put energy on him round one so he would go very offensive orientated because I needed him to survive as most as possible and do as much damage as possible because he did the carry on this one because Aspen couldn't do it since he was the highest, highest attack on our lineup as you see the setup goes mostly the same I just did a final twinks here and there change here and there but I could have put some more armor on people because I think they were countering mute. If you were struggling, try to put some armor here. It might help a little bit. Mostly that's it. So let's go for this, the houses now. The houses are still the same. have not changed them. I'm only going to up. The only difference from on the future videos, I'm going to only upgrade the, the DTV house. Put more levels on it because I'm getting more materials and so on and so on. And the size pompets are mostly the same. Only gonna change the album until five plus five three plus. And here we back for the treasure train. And if you wanna check the treasure train depth, I would recommend you to check the transfer this phase. The the the, the total the, the one on the top the the, the uh, millions attacks and the void campaign one, because the void campaign is the most where the buffs coming from. And mostly that's it, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope it helps. If it helps you, leave a like and make sure to subscribe. Help the channel grow. Let's hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Sorry, 500, 1,000. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.